So today I'm going to be showing us how to use Minecraft Education Edition. So after we download Minecraft and open it on up, um, you should be prompted with a sign in screen. So you can go ahead and log in using the information that we have provided you. And then we can go ahead and press play. So most likely if you are playing with your teacher, you'll use this join world, but we'll just go ahead and create a new world just to show us how Minecraft works. So we can go ahead and press on create new and then new. And it doesn't really matter what the name of it is for right now. Let's go ahead and make that default game mode creative so that we don't have to worry about getting any resources. And then let's go ahead and set the difficulty to easy just so we can see different mobs. Okay, so we can go ahead and press play from here and it should build a little world for us and spawn us in a random place. Okay, awesome. So if you've played Minecraft before, then you know the controls, but just in case you haven't, let's go over them real quick. So um, if you don't see them here, you can go ahead and press H and that will actually have them show up for you. So we go forward by pressing W, S, and we go back, A, and we go left, and D, and we go right. If we want to jump, then we can press that space bar and we'll jump around. If we want to fly, double tap that space bar, fly down is shift and stop flying, double tap that space bar again. To break a block, we left click and that will destroy and to place, we will right click. And to look around, you can move your mouse around. I suggest using a mouse, but a trackpad will also work just fine. So if you move it around, that will have what direction you're facing move around as well. All right, and since I know how to play Minecraft, we're gonna go ahead and hide those controls. So let's talk about our inventory real quick. So if we go ahead and press on E, that will open up our inventory. Personally, my favorite is the one with the book and the chest. So that way you can see all of your items and everything in your inventory as well. So you can use this little search bar to look for the item if you know the name of it, or you can use any of these different categories. This first category has all of our different building materials. So this is what we can use to make different houses, different little pens if we want to keep any animals um, or anything that we might wanna use for our builds. Anything that we see with a plus sign, if we go ahead and click on it, then it will show more of that building material. Our next tab is different equipment. So this is our armor, our weapons, or anything else that we might need to help us um, play Minecraft. So again, these have plus signs. So if we click on them, then it will expand this and give us different types of helmets. So leather is our weakest and netherite is our strongest. So let's go ahead and get us all geared up in netherite armor. So what I'm gonna do is I left click and then it is attached to my mouse. So then I can go ahead and click on the head slot. And just like that, I have a helmet on. And same with the chest plate and leggings. I don't want leather, we want netherite. And same with those boots. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick out a sword next. So our swords will help us to fight mobs. It will also help us to um, kill the animals a little bit quicker so that we can get our food. So just like before, that netherite is our strongest. So let's go ahead and grab that. And again, if we left click, it will be following our mouse. So let's go ahead and put it in slot one. And you can see that my hand has switched from a hand to a sword, and now my player is holding a sword. So now if I press E again, it will get me right out of that menu. And I can walk around, I can hit the pig a couple times, and 
each mob has its own unique drops. So for a pig, you get some raw pork chop. And how you would be able to eat this is if you cooked it inside of a furnace like this. Okay, so let's talk about how we code with Minecraft. So to first open up our code, we can go ahead and press on that C key. And we press on that C key, we hear that sort of like clash, and then we see something like this. So before we even get into the code, let's see who just popped up. So this is our little agent. Um, this little robot guy is here to help us code. He can place blocks, he can break blocks, he can do basically anything that we ask him to. And as you just saw, if we right click on him, then he can also hold things for us as well. So I don't need the pork chops right now since I'm in creative. So let's go ahead and give them to him. So another fun thing about the agent is you cannot kill it. So no matter how many times I sit here and hit it with my sword, this agent is invincible. He will not be able to be killed. Okay. So let's talk about our code. So um, the code has a bunch of different fun built-in projects if you'd like to look through any of those, but we're going to go ahead and make our own project. Um, and when this first pops up, I believe, okay, when this first pops up, you'll see something like this. So you'll see Microsoft make code, learn to code in Python, or Modular World with Tinker. So we're just going to go for that first one that looks like a little puzzle piece. So when we do that, we're going to code with blocks. Okay. So let's go ahead and start our first project. So we can go ahead and click on new project and we can name this whatever we'd like. For right now, I'm just gonna name it example. And then we can go ahead and press create. So as soon as we press create, we're gonna see something like this. There is a couple different ways for our code to be able to run, um, but the one that we're gonna use right now is on start. So whatever we put inside of this little block here, when we press play, that will be the code that runs. So let's make it so no matter where we are, the first thing that happens is that our agent shows up right where we are. So since I'm trying to use code with the agent, I'm gonna go ahead and click on agent. And the first one up here is agent teleport to player. So if I take that and put it in the middle of on start, and then I press this play button, you'll see that my agent shows up right in front of me. So this is a fun way so that we never lose our agent. So now, even if I fly away, all the way over here to where you can't even see the agent anymore. If I press C, press run again, there he is. He follows us around. So I like, again, I like to use this so that we never lose our agent. Um, and there's another way we can never lose our agent as well. And that is if we use a spawn egg. So our agent actually has a spawn egg. It has that little glowing red center, just like our agent does. So if we go ahead and click on it, um, if we left click, it will give us 64. If we right click, it will give us one. Okay. But it is in my second slot. So default, um, the default slot for Minecraft is that slot one. So if I press that two on my keyboard, then you can see that my hand switched from that sword to an egg. So I can go ahead and right click. And there we go. The agent will show up wherever I click. And if you remember those pork chops that I gave him a little while ago, if I go ahead and right click on him again, he still has them. So this is a super convenient way to be able to store items. And the fun thing is if you're playing with a bunch of different people, they can't see what's inside your agent. So if there's something that you don't want anyone else to be able to see, this is a great place to store it. 
All right, let's talk about some of the fun features that Minecraft Education Edition has. So I will note if you play Java Edition, this will be a couple updates behind, but it still has a bunch of the super cool updates. Um, if you're familiar, I believe it has up to the caves and cliffs. So that means we have axolotls. Um, so you could actually use your agent to build a little um, tank or enclosure for your axolotl. And then if you get some axolotl spawn eggs, you can go ahead and right click and you can get some different axolotls in here and they can just be hanging out and oop, they can escape. So if I look at a block and press tab, then it will have that same block pop up. So let's make sure that no more of these fellows escape here. And to place a block, we right click. Okay. So now that one guy's hanging out. Hopefully, he'll make his way back. But yeah, here's our little axolotl tank. So, another fun thing that Minecraft Education Edition has is striders. So, that's a little baby strider. Okay, there we go. Let's get a big strider. Oh, I've actually never seen. A small on top of a big one before that's fun okay so we can actually ride striders so let's see let's get one that we can ride here all right now that we have a strider that we can ride we can go ahead and grab a saddle and if we right click then you'll notice the little picture of the saddle pops up on top of our strider so now if we click on any of our empty inventory slots, right click on top of him, then we can now walk across lava. And as you can see right now, if I just move around, I don't really have control of the strider, but if I get some warped fungus on a stick, then wherever I turn, I am now controlling the strider. I think this is super fun. Still has some of those great fun updates that Java Edition has. Um, all right, and another unique thing about Minecraft Education Edition is actually their elements. So um, if you use Java, then you might not know what this is. So let's see. So this is where our different elements are, and there is a whole sort of recipe book online that helps you build different items. Some of these items can include glow sticks, underwater TNT, balloons. Balloons are super fun if you um, right click on a mob or any sort of animal with the balloon, then it sends it right into the sky. Um, but yeah, there are a bunch of different recipes that you can look up online. And also something that's super fun is a camera. So let's sort of see how this looks. And also is the portfolio right next to it. So let's take a look. If we go ahead and take a picture of my agent here, and then I can look in my portfolio and you'll be able to see my agent and I can go ahead and give it um, a caption as well and say my agent and you can even save it as well. So yeah, I think this is just like a fun little feature that isn't um, in like the classic version of Minecraft. Right, and I think this is all I'm going to show us today about how to use Minecraft. If you are curious, your teacher can totally help you with different dimensions. So we have the nether and the end, which are both super cool. And in the end, you actually get to fight the ender dragon, which is always a lot of fun. Um, and also along the way, there are a bunch of different mobs, bosses, and other things you can fight. But yeah, this is just the basics of Minecraft and a couple features I think are super cool. All right. Bye, everyone.